just going to do a quick disclaimer on this one. I'm not sure if this is legal to do in state forests. I would imagine, well, just about everything's illegal in a national park, so you probably can't do it there. Uh, try and do this either on private property, um, maybe a bit of un unoccupied crown land would probably be okay too, but look it up for yourself in your own state. But most important, no matter where you're doing it, keep it clean and tidy when you finish. If people don't know you've been there, if they're all happy because you haven't made a big mess, then you'll be able to go back and do it for years. Hold hold. A bit wet. Where is it rains but? That's it. That's some of the best bait you're going to find for Murray Cod, Australian native fish and yellow belly and whatnot. So the technique I've always used for digging them, you can just do a, a plow in, however you want. You're just trying to skim off uh, two to three inches, depending on what the soil type's like. If, um, if it's really sandy, some of the holes will be capped a little bit further down so you might dig down a bit deeper and same again someone's on the ground's really hard they seem to be because they do actually close their hole up they have a little round dome um, so someone's on the hard ground it'll be quite close to the top so just in just, just a bit a little bit sandy a little bit loamy two to three inches if there's any there i'll definitely hit them Now, a couple of things about when you're trying to dig for bodies, besides just about where you are, I'll show you that in a minute. It's important to not make a big mess. So don't heap your dirt up in a big pile. Um, besides not looking good, it's a good way to get you kicked out of that forest, you won't be able to do it anymore. So I normally try, I'll get an area started and if I find some grubs, I'll sort of work backwards and sideways and I'll keep on throwing the dirt back where I'm digging. So in the end you'll end up with, you know, sort of five or six inches of topsoil turned over and that's it and no one's really going to complain about that now why this spot why are all this bush here that I'll try and dig this spot um, there's lots of theories about body grubs I'm not going to pretend I know them I've heard people say they're in the ground for seven years and there's all these different things I haven't found that to work out the way places I've dug them one thing I have found consistently is low branches I don't know whether that's like they spawn on a on a windy night or whatnot but I always find my chances go up a lot of finding them by digging underneath low branches. Not 100% of the time, it just definitely helps a bit. Now I'm not saying this hole looks perfect. Um, the lining is actually a little bit discoloured, it's a little bit brown. But there's been some good heavy rain so that could change it. But I'll show you the screw. So the screw has two ends. If you got really big holes, use the big end. The smaller hole, use the smaller end. Just remember to make sure you go the correct direction and actually just softly push it down. You feel some resistance and then it's on to anti-clockwise so as I put a little bit of pressure I'll anti-clockwise it and if I feel like I've got something like slowly pressure you gotta watch how much you pull big spiders into that too but that's ooh unfortunately I ripped that one in half but that's the idea still a grub you'll still catch fish see if we can get the other half No, they're all a bit um, a bit wet here at the moment. Um, I'm actually on the side of the, uh, uh, a bit of a hill. Don't do it down where it gets too low. They just turn the mush, and they they're useless. You know, they won't come out of the holes. They're naked. They're dead. 
Now what you can see, this is a hole, but it's an old one. Just a little hint of, um, I guess roots and that from the grass and things like that and bugs. When it's a good hole, you'll see a nice uh, purpley, reddy color, thick silk layer. Um, very fibrous, you'll pick it straight away. Some people say about flicking the hole, if it sounds hollow, there's nothing in there. It sort of works, but I still just check it. It only takes a minute to put a screw down there and try. Well, I think that's going to do me today. I've only got one in a bit. They're a funny thing. Some ones are in patches, and you've been lucky enough to find a patch. And I've had days where I've got over 100. I've had other times where I've gone out for three, four hours and found absolutely zero. Um, I'm not fit enough to go too hard at the moment, but I'll pull this down a little bit, make it look neat, and um, I'll show you the equipment I use. The basic equipment you will need is either a screw, um, this one has a large screw, small screw. You can make these up yourself. They're a bit of spring steel stuck on a bit of uh, curtain rod wire, I guess. Cheap to buy in the, in the tackle shops also. There's another style made out of the same material and it's got, say, three or four prongs, quite often three. And they'll have a loop of fishing line actually over the three prongs and runs down onto the other end. And when you pull the other end, it grabs. Um, they do work. There's a lot more fiddly. I don't really bother them. If I'm trying to get live grubs for someone, then I'll do that, but usually I just get them so it doesn't matter if I damage them or whatnot. I blanch them in hot water and then freeze them. I'll show you how to do that too. Shovel wise, down a post hole shovel is pretty good. Um, I just give mine a bit of a rub over with a grinder. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be like razor sharp. Some of the areas you've got to dig in are got really, really strong grass roots. And a sharp shovel makes a huge difference when you're trying to slice through. Uh, also you'll find quite often there the grubs themselves actually follow along roots. So you might actually be shaving the top off the, the side of a root and if the shovel's blunt, it just doesn't do it. So sharp shovel, just a little bit of a rub with a, with a grinder on top, a bit of a flat disc or something, that makes a big difference. Um, that's really all you need to know.